Hi and welcome to TikTok to develop using Visual Basic .NET. I call this an advanced TikTok to game because of the various implementation that was carried out. Now, let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to reset, which means we can play another game. We have player O oh there. Let's give player X a shot. And player O oh again. Let's block player O. Oh. Player O oh open up the arena. Okay. And let's make player O. Oh. There we go. We now have player O oh level up. There we go. As you can see the color of each component has changed okay and all of the buttons are now locked up nothing can be done let's reset and let's just make somebody here win there. so that is how it's done and we can even start a new game entirely click on that you see the whole game is gone and we can just there we go there. so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together let's do that now guys okay let's exit out and start a new project I'm going to click on exit so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on create new project click on that and make sure your visual basic is selected and you come right down here click on next All right there I'm just going to give that a name I'll call it VB underscore tick underscore tag to so that's the name of this project click on create okay my development environment is ready so I'm gonna go straight to the properties just to modify this form I'm right there change the size to 1386 by 788 press enter now the next thing I want to do with this is I want to then enhance the background color you see where we have background color let's change that very color to cadet blue I'm just gonna type it out cadet blue and press enter there we go that's it cadet blue I will now come straight here go to the toolbox I need plane come right down here there we go and draw this is going to be for my heading so let's change the the border style I'm gonna make that fix 3d there we go and I don't need another one underneath so I might as well just copy this across okay so that's for my heading so come right down here let's copy hold on to the control click and drag I have one here and I'm just gonna drag this all the way down there we go all right I'm now going to add another one in there so let's just click on this click and drag and just bring it in there okay copy it across here as well because I'm gonna need it there just drag bring this one here the choice is yes you don't have to design your interface so good I just like my interface looking good right so that's one here and another one I need one in here but first things first let's add our buttons so for the buttons i'm going to change the color of that very button but let's grab a button in there first that's my button there and this very button i'm going to change the size so let's go for 
200 200 by 150 now I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna leave the fonts as black and here let's change the back color of that very button I'm gonna change that to let's see something that will look good for me in there now let's say white smoke that's white smoke here yeah, not snow okay that is the color of the button white smoke and let's change the font size to something very very readable make that bold make that about 96 there we go no I don't want it to be I want it bold right and let's come right down here make sure there's nothing in there let's assume I have uppercase Yes. okay that's fine right that's my button created this very button I'm now gonna copy it across I need, I need nine of those that's two and three and bring it right down there so my button is in place so I also need one button too maybe let's make that just undo what I've just done, undo that. I need this very button, bring it here. Okay. And take one up and one to the side. I'm going to delete this one, I don't need that. Let's drag this one all the way. Now we need labels one label here and this very label let me change the font size change the font size of this label to 48 48 bold i'm going to need two of those in fact i need another one here here you see these labels here let's change the properties of those labels i'm going to come right here you see where we have all two size i'm going to make that false Okay, the border style, the background color, I'm going to make that white. Well, let's give it snow white as well. You know, it's white smoke coming. Right. And the text content on it, I'm just going to enter zeros to them. Let's get it centered. There we go, centered. And the other thing is where we have border style, I'm going to make that. Maybe fix 3D. There we go. That is it. And this one here, we just need to enter new. Let's enter new game. Why this one will be known as? Let's pin this down. Reset. And the one beside it, that will be exit. We also need to change the font size. That's it. All my design is ready. So let's change the font size to so something readable. I'm going to go for about maybe 66. There we go. That's it. The interface is ready. So all we need to do now is to start work with the coding. And up here, we just need to enter one label here and just write something there. So I'm going to call that. Let's change the font color of that to something lighter. Color, maybe yeah, the same thing. White smoke. And in here, I'm just going to enter VB. Let's say advanced. Yeah, advanced tick. Tag to game. Yeah. There. Okay, that's it. So this one here, this label, that's going to be player number X. Let's come down here and just put player X. X. And 
the second one is going to be player O. Uppercase. There. That is it. All done. Alright. So let's run it and you guys see how the whole interface looks like. Alright guys, this is how my interface looks now. Okay, but none of these buttons are doing anything. So let's, let me exit out. I will now double click on the form. Let's create uh, two variables. One is going to be used to increment the winners or the winnings and the other one is just going to be used to validate if an option is been, if a button is checked or not so I'm going to start by saying dim I'll call the very first one checker and this checker is going to be using boolean expression as boolean just to determine if it's true or false then the second one is going to be dim and I'll call that let's say plus one plus one as integer so that those are the variables I intend to use but right underneath here the first down to do is to create I'm going to create a function this function I'll just call it enable function enable enable underscore false There, that's my function and for this very function what I want to do is I want to make sure every single button here like this one now I've changed the name I didn't bother. I expect you guys to be able to do that this one is known as txt tag 1 2 3 and so on okay so I'm going to come in here button txt tag 1 Let's say enable. That will be false. But they want it to be true right at the beginning. There. So I'm just going to copy this button. So in total, I have nine. So I'm just going to copy, paste, and paste. Those are all my buttons in place. So all I just need to then do is to change the numbers around there and the next one is going to be two and so on now the whole idea of this is so that when I check if the player has clicked on that button I will then automatically call my force function that's the whole idea of that but before we know anything about that let's do this i'm going to enter a private sub another private sub that would be for this course private sub let's say score and this very score i'm going to say if button one btn one has an x value in the text box btn tag one dot dot text equals uppercase x okay and the that is for the first rule here I'm talking of the first rule I'm calling one two and three so I will now use and for the other two button and btn2 and btn3 so button 3 button 2 if all of the, that should be 2 if all of those buttons have the value x on their text then what i want the system to do is to automatically change color so i'm going to now say this button 1 i want the back color they all the three of them are like them to change color to I say back color first we just make that up equals a system 
dots drawing dot color you don't have to go this way you can just say color equals whatever yes i'm gonna make that powder blue there we go so that's my very first color okay you don't have to go all the way you can always just say button 2 equals color dot powdered blue okay you can do it like that as well okay it's all the same right but I'm just going to reduce the amount of codes so maybe get rid of this or just leave this I don't know you guys know two different method now anyway so i'm gonna leave both so make up your mind what you want so the third one maybe use this for the third one yeah the third one is going to be button three so every single button there now has the same color now we need a message box to, to inform the user of their winnings so message box dot show okay we can say the winning the the winner is player x right and let's come in here comma and let's enter title tick tack then comma and now I'm gonna say message box button that's just to give me a button and that button will be okay then comma then let's use message box icon to give us yes information icon to give us information information icon there there we go and right underneath here since you have won the very first game we now want plus one equals okay plus one equals let's say convert whatever we have inside our plus dots to in 36 no in 64 sorry My system is 64 bit that's why i'm using in 64 equals lbl player x dot text so whatever is in there is then sent straight into plus one and plus one we now we now say lbl here paste that there whatever we have inside plus one we now assign it here so i might as well just copy all of this paste that in here and bring plus one over so what i've just done in here is convert i've converted what i have in here to an integer now i'm bringing the integer in back in here but in this case i have to change it back to string there we go so it's now back to string in that case the this function I'm now going to call this function enable function there we go that should be false let's change that to false yeah all of those buttons will become disabled all right enable I mean, that's the name enable equals false yeah so that's the very first one the very first condition the second condition i think maybe we should go one four seven that would be one four and seven here okay let's show you the, the numbers the values or the names that's btn one btn tag 4 btn tag 7 so all i just need to do here is come right here copy everything here 
paste. F one, four, and this is seven. Now, what color do I want to use? Well, I want to use pink. Maybe let, let's search for pink. There we go, pink. And just paste the pink here. All of these are now pink. There we go. That's it. So, button X has won twice. Or player X has won twice. So the value now should become 2. So let's do the same thing for the next one. So the next one is going to be 159. Place that there. So that becomes 159 plus 9. Nine five. There we go. And well, let's let's change the color. Chrome sim. Sim in. Let's copy and change it around. There. There. I guess you guys get the whole idea. So the one five nine, this is one five nine here. One two. Okay. Now I'm gonna speed up the X. I've done one two three. I've done one two three. I need to do this and do this. So I'm just doing is copying and pasting. This one is going to be two five eight. Okay. This one will be three six nine. Okay. Seven. Eight, nine, and this will be four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to speed that up. Just copy them and change the details around. Okay, guys, this function is now completed. This function is called score. If you notice, look at the name of the function score. Okay, it's still grayed out. Let's come down. Have a good look at the the if statements that I'm using to determine who is the winner here. Okay, so we've done it up to there. Three, three, five, seven. Then we have two, five, eight. Okay, look at it. It's all the same lines of code. Just know the how the winning goes that's it three six nine then we have four five six and the next one is going to be for the zero winners okay bring it down okay that's for the player O okay we have the same condition but the difference is just the winner and bring it down so have a good look at it because i'm going to have to speed that up i've speed it up anyway so we just have a look at it i'm just going to scroll down a little bit faster it's the same lines of codes so right one and just change the rest around so let's go straight to the button so double click on this button now there Okay, I'm going to use an if statement here. Let's say if checker, if you're wondering who checker is, checker is my variable right up there. Equals false. Then I want bt, btn tag one dot text equals x right in that case checker will become true checker equals true else checker will become zero or uh, oh so let's come right down here and just enter else else checker equals 
false. If checker is false, then this one will be player O. Let's put an O here. There. All right. So now let's get the score. Score. We call the score immediately. And in that case, btn is very important. Dot enable. We want to make it false. Okay. Okay. So what I've just done is if I click on it, give me X. But if it, if there's something in there, it gives me oh. Once you give me any of this data there, it's gonna call this guy here, and it becomes false. Call this guy to check what's going on. If the other two two buttons are having the same sign on top, and lock up that very button. So you won't be able to click on it anymore. And checker, look at checker. Checker is this very button here. Sorry, it's the variable that I have up here. Okay. So I'm calling checker. Checker is going to be doing most of the job now. Now let's go to button number two. That's number one taken care of. Double click on button number two. Button number two is exactly the same. So I'm going to copy. Let's copy those lines of code. Bring it down. And just change the names around that's two two I'm gonna get rid of this that should be there all right and change this one to two as well now let's grab number three Come in here, double click on button number three. Repeat exactly the same thing that I've just done. Change this one to three, three, and three. Get that, guys. Come right here, double click on button number four, paste, and change button four. There we go. Okay, I guess you get the whole idea. So I'm going to speed that up now. This should be four. Here as well. Right. Oh. Here I've made a mistake as well. That's three, so this should be three, not four. Three. Three. Better check the other ones. Okay, the other one is right. That's for button one, button two, button three, and button four. Okay, that was my error. So. Button five, I'll do that with you guys, then I'll speed that up. Five. Five and five here. So let's speed up the whole process. All right, that is it all done for every single button. That's button five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now let's come in here the new double click on the new button so what we want to do is to enable every single button so I'm going to copy all of these and come right to where we have new double click on new and just change that so instead of false that becomes true and just repeat the same thing for the rest true true and true there, that is it all done. Well, once it all becomes true, I want the whole data needs to be cleared. Okay, because we're starting a new program. So in that case, we're gonna get this very button then. Copy that. The text equals just clear whatever we have in there. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing for one, two, and so on up to nine. Just copy and paste and change it around. So this becomes two, three, four, and so on. That is it all done. And at the same time, and I want LBL player X dot X. I want it to display the following the 
following value. The same team player one, uh, player O. This is for player O. There. Now, one last thing for all these buttons. We now need to change the back color to the main back color. If you guys can still recall, if I click on any of these buttons, look at the main back color white smoke. So let's go back in there. Come right down here. Paste dot back color equals color. Okay. Let's just say dot white smoke that's it done now we're gonna copy this and just change it around and that takes care of that there we go change the numbers now get back to you guys there we go and let me just draw your attention to one thing look at the way I've enter my color here and look at the way the color here is added it's all the same okay don't worry about it okay it's all the same i can always do the same thing let's copy that and bring it down here if you want, the choice is, is yours which method you want to use all right that is it all done so all that is left for us to do now is to double click on reset with the reset, I'm going to copy every single thing here because we just reset them. Copy everything here and paste it right in here. And get rid of this. Then I will enable BTN new button. Dot enable it was true okay, that's it that's all the tic tac toe is done oh there is one more thing we just need to take care of this double click on that okay in the case of exits you can just add application dot exit or you can do it my own way getting the user to to confirm if they want to exit or not so i'm gonna say that i'll declare a variable called i exit I exit equals message box dot show the following message and that message is going to be confirmed if you want to exit that's it come out there comma enter your program name tic tac toe Come on there, let's say message box button. Let's say yes or no. Dot yes or no. And comma message box icon. The icon is going to be question mark. There. Now use an if statement if I exit. I exit equals dialog. dot yes then application dot exit that's it exit done so that is how you create your own tic tac toe i call it advanced tic tac because of the design of the interface and all the extra you know all the extra bits i mean so run the program there yeah, decision time okay X player X O X again O X we have a winner player X one restart the game again okay we're gonna have a draw here so we should have oh it's not a draw player O wins another game so let me show you guys one thing there. okay now we cannot click any of these anymore 
okay and that's how you create your own tic-tac-toe in visual basic an advanced one for that matter so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel thank you and you all have a nice day bye